Hello fellow car model builders. Today we have midweek update that is going to be on this blob of paper and plastic. No, it's the car hauler build and whatever else I got going on in my life somewhere in this video, maybe the ending. But for now, let's get on to the hauler. Let's show you some of the paintwork I did and go with that and yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okie dokie, this is what we done did it. So we got kind of a gloss, semi-gloss on the axle. That's what we did and I, uh, the glue on purchase where you glue it onto the frame, I taped those off so we'd keep the um, paint off so we didn't have to clean it up. And we could go plastic to plastic. That's the best way for glue to bond. Don't do it paint to plastic or paint to paint. It's not going to hold as well. So we got that out of the way. The other thing, I did build my cylinders. One of them is working very nicely. I think this one, everything's rolling. Look at this one. Nice, easy. Look at that. Da, 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 da. And then somebody got a little bit of glue on the tip of that one. And it solidified in place. So I'll have to open it up and pry that glue off so we can have functioning hydraulic cylinders. Now I forgot to primer these and prep those for paint, the ramps. I've been working on the tire situation. You have to glue the backings on and this on and la da 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 da. So that gets something like that it goes and then you put the tires on and blah 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 blah. And this, the bottom, as I mentioned, I was going to do flat back, so I did, and I did mask it off with whatever, a little bit of green frog tape or whatever they call it. Hope the lighting's not too crazy here. And we're not going to worry if we got scratches in that or overspray. See, I put a bit of overspray here, and I'm okay with that because when I paint this thing yellow, overspray is going to happen, which is fine because on the commercial units, I'm sure they didn't go too crazy on... Uh, when they built these things in the production line way back in the days. So, that is what we got going on. Uh, should I paint the yellow before I glue everything on? I don't know. I'm undecided. Uh, we'll see what, it might be easier, right? Because I can set the chassis on the bottom and then the yellow will dry. So I think that's the plan of attack. I Making plans as we go here, my friends. So, let's shut the camera off for a bit so I can get things organized. Okay, so my first attempt at painting the yellow on the trailer was a complete and utter failure. It's too hot. It's hot as balls. So the first thing that happened was... <laughs> it's 90, 98 degrees, so I'm painting in 98. It's just too hot. The paint is drying right in the brush. So the first... Um, shot I did had a big jism plug in it and then it wouldn't come out <laughs> so to speak and it plugged up so I went in I washed out the nozzle and I retried it but it was just drying right in the right in the uh, mixer atomizer whatever you want to call it so that that is all I got just a light misting so one of two things I'm gonna either have to try again in the morning or go with option two just buy a can of paint and do it so that is my I'm thinking but for a dollar for craft paint and then just a little light shot of clear over top that would have worked um, being a cheap bastard you're trying to save costs and this is gonna end up costing me more in the long run and I like the yellow that I ha had in the acrylic so I don't know if I'm going to try this again in the morning or not. I don't. I ran, ran out of air for the air compressor thing too, so I have to go recharge my air. So, yeah, somewhat disappointing, but what do you expect? It's freaking upper 90s today. All week is supposed to be hot as freaking balls. 90s uh, it should be 
probably hitting 100 degrees this week. So, anyways, blah, blah, blah. I know. Disappointed, but is what it is, right? Many, many minutes later. Okay, so it's been a day or two since I've attempted to paint this hauler. And I decided, hey, I'm running around. I'll go look at uh, what a can of yellow paint would be for this. And this is what I saw, so check this out. With the price of paints now, 20 bucks, $21, 20 dollars 20 99 for a can of freaking paint, spray paint. On freaking nutty what the hell it, I was complaining at $14 this is insanity the small cans are $21.99 ho 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 Sh Jesus so there is no damn way in hell that I am paying that price for a can of spray paint over 20 bucks so I decided to do something else to get ready to paint that hauler. What I did do is I took my air gun apart and I'm soaking all the nozzles and needles. And I also took apart my cylinder to try and get it unseized and to work like this one again. Now this was a chore and a half because I that glue, it really bonded this well, this cylinder. So uh, I managed to not chop a finger off. That's always a good thing. And I used this knife without, yeah, without um, blood and spilling everywhere. So that was a good thing. So last time as the glue was drying I was moving the cylinder like this so it wouldn't get stuck but I guess overnight it ended up yes uh, that bottom cylinder piece did end up managing to seize in there so that glue is I know works very well so now I'll have to reassemble it and file down these seams are pretty ugly I don't know if the camera will pick it up now I don't have enough lighting here so uh, anyways yeah we'll we'll prep these cylinders for paint I got the wheels done uh, these guys primed and yeah I'll come back probably next video and do a final almost final on this I think things are almost done and good enough for end of the month July I should be ready to do that so that is an update and current status of the hauler build that I'm doing in conjunction with scale speedworks model channel and i thought i'd just end off today's video on a different note that being my week with my sister touring around with her to fino beach area very beautiful spot right on the ocean side hey if you look far enough in the distance you'll see russia and hawaii so anyways thanks for watching my friends really appreciate it as always stay awesome until the next video and we will see you then on the next update on whatever builds i got going on cheers my friends till then we are in tofino i hope you can hear oh there's a couple good waves coming in Very nice spot. Wow, that mist this sign is kind of cool. So this beach is actually 16 kilometers long, which is what, uh, 10 miles, a little bit more, maybe 12 miles? I don't even know. Oh, there's a couple big ones coming in. So yes, it's a very long beach. Huh? They call it Long Beach. Get it? Get it? I amused myself. Uh, so you can go a long distance down here. There's a couple different parking lots and you can walk it down there. Uh, it's a hard sand beach so you can actually take a bike too down here. Jason, Jason, ah, my shoes. Oh, no, 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 not my shoes. <laughs> oh, I gotta walk with the wet feet now. Oh, well.